hasn't done it as I've asked it to, so I've just got to manually put this in now. Bring live streaming. And that's my favourite part because it's probably just viewing me how I am at the moment. Let's see if we can get it down. All right, and we are live. A little bit of delay. I'm going to have to learn how to get this 40 seconds down. <laughs> and that was after spending two hours today with, um, with Zoom itself. All right, and we are live. So welcome to Chantal's Show and Tell, where I would love to feature some of the businesses that I've worked with that are using Facebook successfully in their business. So uh, with me today, I have the lovely Brent and... Ellen from Burley's Mobile Mechanic and Workshop. Say hi guys. Hey. Hello. So uh, today's show is about showing people in Facebook world or showing business owners that Facebook can work um, and you can manage it successfully yourself. So if you empower yourself with the skills and strategy, you can successfully manage your own Facebook profiles um, to gain more visibility and to generate more clients. So firstly, let's talk a little bit about Burley Mobile uh, Mechanic and Workshop. So uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about your business? Yeah, sure. So um, Burley's Mobile Mechanic, we started the business um, probably 10 years ago. Um, I was working away at the time. My, my wife was pregnant and um, needed uh, some services on, done on the car. I wasn't able to leave the house. Um, so I sort of came up with the idea of a mobile mechanic. Um, would be would be a great sort of help to her at that time. Um, so yeah, that's that's how we started. I was doing a two and two roster, two weeks on, two weeks off. Um, yeah, and I started it up on my time off and built it up to a point where I could um, stop working away. Uh, and at that stage, we had uh, Tully, who was uh, who was one. Um, so yeah, I sort of decided to stop working away and um, and start building my own mechanic. Um, and it's grown from being just myself and a youth on the road to um, to a workshop which we, we had a hoist in. Um, we've moved a couple of years ago to a bigger premises with a couple of hoists and um, we're now doing tyres and um, yeah, just uh, a bit more equipment to do um, more work that we that we had a need for. Yeah, excellent. So um, I actually remember, I remember the first phone call that I had. I think Brent called me and said, uh, I think it was Paula Brand put you in contact with me and said, yep, um, uh, I'd like my wife to get some training with Facebook so she can help us a little bit. So, um, Ellen, would you like to tell us a little bit about, um, you know, how savvy were, were you on Facebook when we first met? Um, basically, I only know, knew how to do, like, posts on my own personal page. I didn't really know. I didn't even know how to schedule posts. So I had pretty limited knowledge. Yeah, excellent. And um, so when we started to work, working together and we started completing the program, like, did you find that it was simple to understand and follow? I found it really good because um, we had some one-on-one -on -one sessions and the difference that I found instead of going, you know, um, to a daily thing where you've got 20, 30 other people in the room and one person talking and you're just taking notes, um, you get home and you forget half of what you've written. And I found it really helpful that we did step by step and we did it there and then. And it was really quite simple. Like once you showed me how to do things and I did it the first time and it was like, aha, God, I can do that. 
Excellent. So as a husband and wife team, how do you how do you manage your content for your Facebook profile? Um, because I know that when Brent first called me, he said to me that it was quite important. He was he wanted to do video marketing. Uh, he wanted to do videos in his business. So how do you guys manage the content and doing the videos? Just let's talk about that for a moment. Um, I post everything, but the content ideas come from both of us. So from Brent's perspective as a mechanic, um, he might have a few issues that have been brought in lately um, that he wants to educate people about, or he might be working on something really interesting or want to remind people about something that he does mm -hmm. at the workshop. Um, so we'll do a video or a post on that. And then um, from my perspective, um, I try and think of what I would find interesting as someone who doesn't know a whole lot about cars or what I would like to learn about. And so I create um, content that way, just from um, ideas and we'll sort of throw it back and forth sometimes. Yeah, excellent. So showing your expertise is very important. And uh, like you said as well, thinking about if somebody doesn't know about cars, what is the type of content that you're going to create to um, help them well, firstly to understand a little bit more, but also to build that trust and relationship with you so that when they see the business owner as giving value and showing their expertise, they're more inclined to use that business owner uh, because they respect them. And obviously, you know, they, they find that they're connecting with them too. So um, I know you did mention yesterday in our test that you said um, that some of the, uh, some of your clients have commented on your posts on Facebook. Um, what have, what have some of the people have said about what you're doing on your page? We had a, um, my mum travels a fair bit, funnily enough, um, and we had, we actually had uh, a friend of hers in Scotland who follows us and uh, and just said he, he enjoys reading the posts and they're, um, it gives him a bit of knowledge and a bit of information and a bit of an insight into, um, into mechanics and automotive industry that he normally wouldn't get. Um, so I guess that's it. I think people just sort of like... Um, now they may hear of something, but when you've got the, the advantage of being able to say, for instance, we've done a, a video on balancing wheels, you, you, you know yourself, you, you might have you've been told that your car needs a rotate and balance or something and think, well, shit, what's that? You know, um, Elle's done a video on it. So, you know, it gives them an insight to, oh, that's what it is. Okay, cool. So now I know, um, you know, what it is next time that, uh, that myself or, or they're getting a, a balance done on their vehicles. So, um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. People just like to um, like a bit of insight into it. Yeah, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen share now. And we're going to go through to your uh, Facebook page. Oh, let's have a look. There we go. I'm just going to go through to your Facebook page, and then we're just going to have um, a, a little look at it. Um, and the first thing we do is when we get to a page, within three seconds, we want to know exactly what it is that uh, you guys do or what you're offering. Um, that's whatever professional online presence. So what we can see here is you've got a lovely video up at the top, um, which again just helps to build trust. Uh, one of the things uh, that we did do with your page when you first started is that it was called Burley's Mobile Mechanic. Um, however, you have a workshop and having a workshop allows you to be able to do so much more for your customers. So it was important then for us to change that and to include that and workshop into the name so that people know that for bigger jobs, they can actually use your services as well. Um, now, at the end of the day, we wanna be able to generate clients, so build trust, generate clients from here. So where do you generally send people? When people come from your page, how do you basically, uh, where do you send them in order to get them to be a client? Well, sorry, sorry just repeat that one. Yeah, sure. So uh, when people are on your page, how do they generally contact you from Facebook? Because at the end of the day, we want to get them off Facebook. No, so normally, normally from our page, they then go to our website. Yeah. Uh, and from that, it's usually a phone call um, or an email. And if I receive an email, I, I, I respond back to them as quickly as I can. And generally, or not generally, every time, um, request a phone number so then I can call them and get in contact with them. I just find... Um, with what we do, it's easier to, for me to speak to someone um, so we can sort of understand exactly what they need uh, and we can provide that, provide it for them. Excellent. So uh, we'll just go down over here and have a look. And what I really like is that they've set up this, their services um, really professionally over here uh, with good images as well, uh, which clearly states what it is that they, um, what services they offer. 
Now, remembering that Facebook is an algorithm, so every little bit of words that you put into Facebook actually um, tells the algorithm what it is that you do. So when other people are searching for the same thing, it will come up as well. Um, so what's really cool is that you guys have got some really positive reviews. So um, how do you go about getting reviews? Is it all organic or um, do sometimes you incentivize people to get them? Um, it's mainly organic. Uh, that is something that I want to try and put a little bit more um, effort into in the coming sort of months. But at the moment, um, I just ask people when I'm uh, talking them through what work we've done on their vehicle um, and just say to them, look, simply, if, if you're happy with what we've done and you'd like to, would you mind leaving us a, um, a review? And um, yeah, that's generally the, that's what happens. Yeah, excellent. So. Um We'll go now to your posts because what I do like is that um, you've templated some images on Canva and then you're using that as part of your marketing. So it's quite good for branding. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just scroll down just to the templates at first just to show you. So for example, and I often show my clients this, so you guys are getting exposure just through my client base. Um, but I'll often go through to the page and I'll say to them, have a look here how we've used the same blue uh, we've put in the logo there, so it's the same branding uh, for when they do their today's top tips. So if we scroll down again, you'll see that there's a little bit further down the, the line. You don't always want to be using templated content because then it looks, you know, it looks a bit terrible. People want to see re real people as well. Uh, here's another template over here, and this is what uh, Brent and Ellen are doing for their um, testimonials. Again, it's the same colours, the same fonts with their logo. Um, and they're repurposing their testimonials. What's good to note here as well is that Facebook can't read pictures. So it is important to add a little bit of a story. Remembering that Facebook is story-based. So you do want to add a little bit of a story. You don't just want to put the template in there without adding um, you know, a little bit of background with that story. Um, so we're talking earlier about um, how they love to share videos because we know video marketing is very important and Facebook loves videos. So adding videos into uh, Facebook over here uh, to show tips, to show the amount of the type of equipment that they have. Um, let's have a look. Um, and what's very important as well is to show the other staff members. So people want to see, you know, build connection with the people behind the business. And of course, there's always a call to action. The call to action over here is obviously contact us. Because obviously, as you said earlier, it's easier for people to have a... Um, to have a phone call. Over here, you can see too, they've used uh, credibility. So remembering that when you use Facebook, it's important to include credibility. So this uh, over here, Mikey's got 20 years experience and has been part of the team for five years. So this is how people build uh, trust and connection. Um, oh, it's just a bit slow, sorry. So what I like is, again, just considering who the ideal client is, who the audience is, and then using some of that content over there which relates to them. Oh, there's Brent. And again, you can see the call to action over here. I've just done that over there. And these types of things over here, so sharing other people's content. Oh, this is sharing a blog. Um, Actually, we might talk about that, Ellen, because you were talking about yesterday when we spoke, you, just, you were talking about how you repurpose your content, so what that structure is. So maybe if you could go through that process um, on, on creating that blog and then using it as content. Um, so I like to keep things interesting with the content. So if we have a few videos to post, I like to break it up. Um, so I don't want to post three videos um, you know, three days in a row. Um, so I like to put in different things like a top tip or, um, you know, a photo of behind the scenes or sometimes a funny meme. Um, with the blogs, it's just um, monthly and it's just, um, it might be related to what's going on at the time. Like I did one on um, high petrol prices. Um, when, it get, when it got really hot, I did one about um, how hot weather affects your car. Um, same with in winter, so try and relate it to what's going on at the moment. And um, and then it just, um, people click on it and it takes them to our website as well. Yeah, excellent. And then of course you repurpose that through to your newsletters as well. Yes, it's a, it's a good one to put in there. Yeah, so what a lot of people don't realise is that when they create content, 
Uh, don't ever create one piece of content and think that that's that. You've got to take that one piece of content and you've got to put it in multiple places. So whether or not if it's taking doing a Facebook Live, then creating a blog out of it, then creating top tips out of it, then creating, uh, then putting it into your newsletter. So you can take that content and you can use it more than once. Yeah, I've done like with the top tips too. Sometimes I'm posting that in groups. Um, that's another way to do it if we don't have um, a special on that started yet. Um, yeah, can put um, these sort of helpful things into the groups and sort of get it out there. Yeah, excellent. Uh, so remembering that when we do post in groups that we always follow the rules of the group. Yeah. And of course you would be doing that. Um, so just showing you on the right hand side the your story over here because a lot of people don't fill this in but it is important to um, you know, put a little bit of your family story in there. So it's not so salesy, but a little bit more social, um, which is really important. And now do you guys just want to tell us about a special that you have on at the moment? I know you said it's only for a couple more days, but that way people can take action and, uh, and uh, maybe take advantage of that sooner than later. Yeah, sure. So um, this month we do we do a monthly special, which we um, we do advertise on Facebook and also um, in our newsletter. But uh, for this month, it's a free car wash and vacuum um, with every car service that gets done at our workshop. So um, yeah, people seem to like that. Um, it's been quite popular this month. Um, yeah, so that ends uh, next. I think early next week. So if you do um, if your car is due for a service and it's a bit dirty, then book it in. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Excellent. And again, that's just showing that you are uh, really thinking about your ideal clients and uh, <laughs> their pain points and solving them. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much um, for coming on today and just sharing a little bit more about your business and how you've been using Facebook in your business. I hope that it inspires other people um, in business and other couples as well on how they can basically work together and manage their accounts themselves to generate or grow their business. Um, our next show and tell is going to be with another very, well, it's not another, it's even a less sexier business. And that is an IT, it's a technology and communications business. So it's with Neil Krauss from IMIT, I'm it. And he's tele technology and communications specialist. And I always say that when it comes to Facebook, it's the unsexy ones that are really hard to work with. So um, I'm going to highlight his business a little bit and show you how we've made it a little bit more sexier on Facebook and how it's actually working for him as well. So thank you once again to Brent and to Ellen. And uh, guys, if you're in Burley, come down to Burley's mobile mechanic and uh, workshop and have a look at this lovely couple and see what they can do for you. And of course, check out their Facebook page. It's truly inspirational. Thank you. Thank you.